Welcome back. Today was the first day of football practice in Montana. MTN's Isaiah Dunk takes us to Great Falls Central. It's the first day of high school football practice in Montana, and though things look and feel a little bit different because of COVID-19, here at Great Falls Central, they're just excited to be back on the field. Very grateful. It's uh, an opportunity not only to play football, but to grow with some of our teammates and some new people in the school. So I'm glad to be out here and have that opportunity. I'm completely new coaching staff, so it's pretty hard on some of the kids, especially um, the seniors, because we've had the uh, same coaching staff for three years, and now we have to adjust to new schemes and all that. But uh, kids are pretty positive with everything. That new coaching staff is anchored by Wes Ross, who was an assistant at Great Falls High last year. It's Ross's first head coaching gig, but despite the strange conditions, he considers himself fortunate. You know, it's been a whirlwind, but I just, I continue counting my blessings, how fortunate we are. Every day something else changes, and uh, one thing I'm very proud of this team about is they've been very resilient, uh, flexible, coachable. Uh, no matter what's asked of us, we step up. That flexibility and coachability will be key in a year full of unknowns as the Mustangs try to make it back to the eight-man playoffs. So far, Central schedule is on as originally planned. And though seeing news that all kinds of fall college sports are moving to the spring, it can be easy to be anxious about the season. But Coach Ross said for the Mustangs, when they're on the field, it's full steam ahead. In Great Falls, Isaiah Dunk, MTN Sports. As of now, Central will uh, open the season hosting Twin Bridges at Memorial Stadium on August 29th.